I'm Chris. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of April 29th to May 5th. Uh, if you like this video, you can go ahead and check out my other videos on YouTube, uh, as well as check out my website if you like to book a private reading or donate to uh, House of Light and Chat. Alright guys, so I have the three cards here that are going to take us through the week. Uh, first card up, we have the Queen of Wands. So Aries, starting off this week, uh, feeling very empowered. The Queen of Wands asks us to be uh, self-composed. Uh, so you might need to actually take take care to uh, keep your feelings in check, keep your energy in check. Uh, not fight a bitch is basically what I'm trying to say here. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, we're also feeling ourselves in a big way. We, we feel sexual, we feel powerful, we feel magnetic, we feel um, you know, on top of the world. So Aries, great start to your week with this Queen of Wands. Um, just feeling all around good, feeling powerful, feeling committed um, to, to yourself, feeling committed to your cause, feeling committed to your life in a new way. Uh, the Queen of Wands, I think, also brings in a blessing early in this month. So you might have hap something happen in the beginning of your week that makes that kind of validates you in some way. Something you've been doing with work, uh, something you've been working towards in a relationship or a project outside of work. Uh, but the Queen of Wands tells us that uh, we're, we're feeling very successful and we're feeling very powerful. All right, middle of the week here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So what we're doing here with the Knight of Pentacles is moving towards our career goals. So Aries, this is a big week to consider career goals. This is a big week to consider ambitions. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles gives us the energy, gives us the persistence, gives us the wherewithal to actually continue uh, in our lives and um, uh, keep, keep going. Right? to keep our eye on the prize and, and, and keep our eye on the goal. So midweek Aries, you're gonna have some experiences here, I think particularly with regards to work and your finances, where there's gonna be a need for uh, um, comfort, security. Uh, these are things that come up for you in the middle of the week. I think some of you may me need to be making big plans about uh, your career future. Some of you might need to be making big plans about uh, the future of where you're going to live and things like that. Um, but Aries, the, I think the point is here is that this power that you have in the beginning of the week actually gives you what you need, gives you the strength to keep going and to push yourself towards your goals. Ending out the week, Aries, with the Four of Cups. So this card talks to us a lot about emotional abundance. It, it tells us that uh, we have plenty around us. You're going to feel the love at the end of this week, Aries. You're going to feel connected to people who care about you. Uh, you're going to feel uh, the the emotional drive that kind of makes any like career ambitions or anything like that worth living. The, the Four of Cups kind of colors our world with... Uh, meaning with purpose with what makes us happy with what with what uh, you know makes us feel full inside makes us feel good and makes us just sit back and look at our life and say things are good so Aries uh, a really powerful uh, week overall uh, especially with regards to career and business and, and with regards to I think for a lot of you living situations too um, so so be so trust yourself this week uh, trust your ambition trust your goals I, I think is what we need to go here this week Aries is asking you to to understand that uh, what you are doing the moves you're making the ideas you have in mind all of those things are are actually right on and, and you have all the sense and you have all the power and you have the incredible uh, insight and intuition right now and self-understanding to know exactly what you need and to go for it bottom of the deck here we have the devil card so there's been a lot of tumultuous feelings here Aries I think what's happening here is you're breaking free from things that are toxic for you whether it's a job whether it's a relationship whether it's anything like that with the devil here coming up underneath the deck what we're, what's happening is that all these things that were weighing us down all these things that were making us feel less than all of us stuff things that were making us feel you know less than good about ourselves we we're getting caught in bad habits caught in toxic relationships uh, caught in toxic jobs whatever it might be uh, what's happening Aries is that all that is being released and this week you're gonna feel that and you're gonna start to feel a sort of emotional relief that comes from that release all right all right guys again uh, check out more videos on my YouTube um, and my website as well for private readings and I'll talk to you guys next week all right it's gonna be a great one talk to you later Bye. What's up, Taurus? I'm Chris. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of April 29th to May 5th. Um, so if you like this video, you can check out my other videos on YouTube, as well as check out my website where you can get private readings, donate to my the House of Light and Shadow, etc. All right. So Taurus, let's go. I have three cards here to take us to the through the week. Let's see what we've got in store for you guys. 
All right, starting out the week with the Queen of Swords. So I think this is a lot of cutthroat energy here, Taurus. I think that the beginning of the month, a week, you're going to see yourself um, recognizing what no longer serves you, recognizing what uh, no longer has purpose in your life, no longer has a place. The Queen of Wands, uh, Swords, is very rooted in her and her truth and her honesty. Uh, she's able to make the moves that she has to make for herself, for her best interest. She knows what, what's deceitful and what's lying and what's honest. So with the Queen of Swords starting off your week, in the beginning of the week, there might be some revelations you have about major changes you have to make, about cuts that you have to make away from people. Um, you might get be getting really serious with, with a certain uh, career path or, or a project or something like that. But you're starting off the week, Taurus, very clear-headed about what you need, about what you're doing, where you're going, and possibly having to be a little, a little, a little harsh with some people and, and cut some things off. And the Queen of Swords always does ask for relief from things that make us heavy and things that uh, no longer serve us, right? Middle of the week here, Taurus, we have the Two of Cups. So this is a beautiful follow-up, right? So for actually for some of you, it might be involving a, a relationship. So there might be things that you need to be letting go of in order to embrace a new relationship, or some of you might be needing to let go of a connection to a person. And if that's the case, midweek, you're gonna feel that. Um, the Two of Cups is about partnership. It's about union. It's about uh, a romantic affairs. So for some of you, you might be making cuts in that department. Some of you, like the single ones, uh, you might be actually feeling the love in the middle of this week. This could be something like a date. This could be a little a little hookup. This could be whatever it is. Uh, it makes you feel pleasure. makes you feel powerful. makes you feel connected to other people. Uh, makes you feel... Um, uh, loved, makes you feel sexy, makes you feel sensual. So midweek, Taurus, I expect that there's going to be some things in your romantic sexual world that are going to be really invigorating to you and, and, and boost your morale and boost your self-esteem and, and really get you moving forward, right? All right, rounding out the week with the Eight of Cups. So again, Taurus, there's big, big energies this week with letting go. The Eight of Cups sees you at the end of the week walking away from something. Uh, leaving something that does, that's not working, leaving something that uh, no longer serves you, releasing uh, uh, an old job, an old relationship. Like There's a lot of release here this week for you, but release that ultimately brings you back to a place of, of what's real, what's honest, what, what really gives you pleasure, what really fulfills you and makes you satisfied. Uh, so Taurus, at the end of the week, expect to drop some shit. Whether that's a person, whether that's a project, whether whatever that is, uh, the Eight of Cups is particularly something in the past that you've tried really hard to to make work, and now this is a point where you just have to say, "I can't do anything more," and I just have to let it go. All I could do for myself and my well-being is to walk away from it. At the end of the week, sees you walking away from that. The bottom of the deck, uh, Taurus, you have the Knight of Wands. So for a lot of you, I think there may be a connection to a fire sign person uh, that is part of what you need to let go of here. A lot of this also, I was just doing the Taurus Monthly, um, and, and Taurus is coming back to a place where you're being connected to your to your passions, your vitality, the things that you love. You're refining this part of yourself, this bravado, this kind of King of Wands cavalier attitude of, of take no prisoners, prisoners and I'm a bad bitch and I'm going to show everybody that I'm a bad bitch, right? So with the King of Wands, there's this restirring uh, the Knight of Wands is restirring of who you are and your and your excitement and and so I think Taurus this week you're really fired up and if there are any uh, releases that are happening it's because you're getting closer and closer to what actually is fulfilling you emotionally and is going to make you uh, more powerful going forward. All right, again, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and check out more on my YouTube and check out my website for private readings, donations, etc. It's going to be a great week, Taurus. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. What's up, Gemini? Welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th, 9th to May 5th. Uh, if you like this video, you can check out my others on YouTube as well as check out my website where you can donate to uh, the House of Light and Shadow as well as buy book personal readings from me, right? So we have three cards here, Gemini, to take us through the week. Let's start with the first one. We have the Nine of Cups. So Gemini, the beginning of the week, we're really looking at uh, a lot of pleasure, a lot of feelings of satisfaction and happiness. I think you're going to be getting closer to things that you want. You're going to feel really satisfied. Uh, this could be feelings of love. This is feelings of support. This is feelings of ultimately knowing that you're kind of on the right path and you're doing the right thing. You've been trusting your instincts. You've been going by what you need. You've been, you've been going with the flow. And in the beginning of the week, Gemini, you're going to feel a little validation from that. You're going to feel comforted. You're going to have a support system around you. Some, I think there could be some very good news that comes for some of you. Some, some good thing happening in this beginning of the week.
right? That 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 puts your heart at ease a little bit. It makes makes everything feel a little lighter. Middle of the week, to, uh, Gemini, we have the Three of Wands. So this is excitement about the future. This is really looking towards uh, what's coming next for you with ambition, with with excitement, with passion. Um, you know, it could be as a result of what. Uh, information or, or news or, or kind of gift comes to you early in this week where something that you needed or wanted comes to be and now you're kind of excited and you're hyped and this is you Gemini making plans for the future this is you feeling more than anything optimistic about the future and feeling really happy and feeling really excited about what's to come which I think is really invigorating and it, it, it's not just about good feelings Gemini it's about um, being in a place now where you know what you want you know what you deserve and now with this energy here you're going to be able to be more focused and actually go towards that thing and accomplish it rounding out the week with the five of cups so uh after all this goodness and all this happiness there is a sort of sense of sadness right with the five of cups at the end of the week there's a sense of loss there's a sense of um you know things things that make you sad that you maybe have to move on from they maybe have to release the five of cups is not all doom and gloom though it is a sense of you know uh with what has fallen there's new opportunities so this could just be a simple mourning of what needs to be let go of this doesn't this it's like uh, you, if you get a new job uh and are a little sad that you're leaving your old job right or like for me where you have to move to a new place and you're a little sad about leaving the place where you are this isn't super heavy energy especially with the rest of the cards here because there is reasons for you to look forward and look be happy about the future and what's coming but do expect this weekend to feel a little a little sadness so so take care of yourself this weekend uh withdraw a little bit if you need to spend time with loved ones and things that make you comfortable because there is going to be sort of these feelings that you're going to have to wrestle with towards the end of the week underlying all of this gemini uh is the five of, of pentacles so this is where we're coming from right this is what's putting this into action there is a sense here gemini of having uh very recently uh, are going through like still the after effects of some kind of loss uh, a financial hardship that might have been going on uh, of, of uh, maybe a split of a relationship the five of pentacles puts us in a place where we're feeling without where we're feeling like uh, uh, you know, we have no options or we have no hope. So the good thing here, Gemini, is that this is a thing of the past, right? So this thing that maybe broke you, made you feel less than, made you feel without, now you're going to experience this week, the, the beginning of the future, the beginning of what that ending actually meant for you in terms of future happiness and getting situated in something that actually brings you pleasure and makes you excited and makes you feel good. And again, of course, there's a little bit of a hurt at the end of the week, but um, again, I don't think that that's this kind of hurt or loss. This is, um, you see, because under that we also have temperance, which is about healing and moving forward, right? So so with this, just keep in mind, you know, the three cups are knocked over, but make, keep your eye on the two cups, right? Take a look at the foundation that's being offered to you and that's creating for yourself and, and what the possibilities are for you going forward. All right, Gemini, again, you can watch other videos on my YouTube. Uh, go to my website to book, book a private meeting. I will talk to you guys next week. Have a great one. What's up, Cancer? Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of April 29th to May 5th. Uh, if you like this video, you can check out my other videos on YouTube, as well as going to my website for private readings, donations, all those great things, all right? So, uh, Cancer, we have three cards here to take you through the week. Uh, starting off the week, we have the Tower. So, the beginning of the week, uh, the, the Tower brings uh, endings. It brings harsh endings. It brings things that you don't really want to... Um, it, it brings truth, right? Uh, uh, things that are hard to swallow, but things that are necessary. The tower shakes your foundations. The tower gets rid of all that is false, and it hurts, and you fall, and it's not going to be pleasant, but ultimately, uh, Cancer, this is going to be for your benefit. So expect in the beginning of the week a little bit of hardness, some maybe hard news that comes, um, maybe some, some, some obstacles that come in your way, um, things maybe not going as smoothly as you had thought they would. Um, you're going to experience that in the beginning of the week, and it's going to be a little difficult, but keep in mind that what we're doing is moving forward and, and creating our strong foundation, right? In the middle of the week, we have the Eight of Swords. So I think whatever happens, Cancer, for you in the beginning of the week puts you in a place of kind of self-defeat with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords tells us that uh, you're limiting yourself, you're limiting your own mind, you're limiting... Uh, uh, what you imagine to be the possibilities. This is kind of a card of maybe losing a little hope, maybe losing a little faith in yourself. 
So Cancer, uh, whatever happens this week in the beginning of the week is going to stick with you a little bit. And the lesson here is like, as this happens to you, as you maybe experience this, this sort of mental inhibition and these mental setbacks, um, keep in mind that you're doing it to yourself. And Cancer, I think it's sort of okay a little bit to allow yourself to marinate in these feelings of, of a little self-pity, you know, a little, you know, because things don't go well, you need to give, give yourself some time to get over it, right? To be able to pick yourself up. So, so Cancer, don't feel too bad if you feel a little less than good in the middle of the week. Allow yourself to feel the feels because then what you're going to do is be moving on from them, right? end of the week here we have the six of wands in reverse um i don't think i put these cards in reverse but anyway so the six of wands in reverse carries through this sort of feeling so cancer to no doom and gloom here but this is going to be a tough week um the six of wands in reverse has us having a hard time uh f feeling recognition feeling validation feeling like we're successful um, so there's something that happens this week, Cancer, that puts you in a place where um, you're going to maybe feel some doubt about yourself and you're going to feel doubt about your goals. You're going to feel doubt about uh, the, the possibilities of the future. Um, keep in mind here, though, that there are there is a big support system around you. So whenever you feel less than, whenever you're feeling, uh, support system is good for this too because it gets you out of your own head and gets you some perspective. And right now this week, Cancer, what you need is support and perspective from the people around you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. So, so what's been happening here, I think there's some financial hardships. And I think there's some, especially some financial realizations that you've had, or, or, or especially this could be if, it's, if, it, if you have a significant other, maybe some difficulties there in the relationship. The Five of Wands, uh, uh, Pentacles, leaves us in a place feeling without, makes us feel less than, makes us feel a little broken. And so you've been feeling this way for a while, Cancer. And now I think the good thing about this is that it liberates you from those feelings. Because what was keeping you here what was making you feel stuck what was making you feel stagnant what was making you feel less than is now crumbling around you and as much as it feels chaotic and it feels dangerous and it feels like um you know you don't know how you're going to get out of it uh keep in mind that uh you know with this you have new foundations that are built and by the end of the week you're just going to have to lean on the people around you cancer all right uh, again uh check out my youtube for other videos as well as my uh website for private readings and i'll talk to you guys next week Hey Leo, uh, welcome to your weekly reading for the week of April 29th to May 5th. If you like this video, you can check out others on my YouTube as well as going to my website to book private readings, to donate, to keep this all these videos coming and all that good stuff, all right? So Leo, we have three cards here that are gonna take us through the week. So let's see what we got in store for you. All right, beginning of the week, King of Pentacles. So this is you, Leo, feeling really satisfied in your material world. The King of Pentacles is a manifester. So a lot of you are probably gonna be feel very good about your work situation. You might be feeling money kind of stacking up. I know a few months ago, we talked about new jobs and stuff like that for you. So, so right now you might be feeling an accumulation of wealth. It's a sense of power over your material world. It's a sense of control. So there might be some ways that you can now make investments or you see your savings account growing or you know, you're seeing your home like coming together because now you got all these cute decorations for it and stuff like that, Leo. But really strong week, uh, beginning of the week with, with the Knight, uh, King of Pentacles, maybe coming back to work and recognizing like, uh, you know, that getting some validation or something like that. Uh, nice start to the week for your material world, Leo. Middle of the week, now we have the devil. So I think that around the middle of the week, you're gonna be dealing with um, difficult relationships, I think particularly, difficult situations with uh, with work colleagues, difficult situations with relationships that I think some of that need to just be ended. The devil talks about uh, relationships that are toxic. And, and it doesn't have to just be with the person, it can be with the situation, it could be with an environment, it could be with, with anything, with a job. So, so and, and also the danger with the devil is that you get put into this really dark place where you feel at the very least uh, unempowered. You feel unable to um, have control or have direction over your life. So Leo, I think in the middle of the week, um, you're gonna feel maybe, especially as a, as a kind of counter to this energy where you're feeling really strong, now things are gonna become a, a bit, a, aware to you. You're gonna become aware of things that are, are hindering your progress and hindering your growth and, and places where you're putting your power um, in a way that's not allowing you to feel your best. Um, and the end of the week, uh, Leo, this is good, the Knight of Swords. So I think that especially as a follow-up to this energy, right? Uh, the Knight of Swords, if you see even the way the card is, where he's kind of like lunging at that thing, like he's cutting it loose. 
the Knight of Swords is releasing you from these things. The Knight of Swords says by the end of the week, you're going to be cutting toxic connections. By the end of the week, you're going to be moving forward and breaking free from things in a new way. This guy just does what he needs to do. He follows his instincts. He follows his intuition. He follows his intelligence uh, to really create what he wants for himself. He, he, he acts first and thinks later kind of energy here. So, so really exciting at the end of the week. Leo, really exciting movement forwards in a, forward in a big way uh, where you feel liberation from something. And that's that's the last thing I'll say about this card is there's a feeling of liberation from something, like breaking free, especially from, from toxic relationships or toxic jobs or anything like that that feels eh, that feels icky. Bottom of the deck, Leo, is uh, the Ace of Wands, uh, Swords. So, so again, this energy of wanting to be clear with the Ace of Swords, we're definitely making cuts this week. The Ace of Swords is clarity. The Ace of Swords is, is pure air. It releases us from, from things that are heavy, from things that don't serve us. It leads us into victory of the self. It's, it's about standing strongly in your truth and knowing what is real for you and what you need to do for yourself. Um, so Leo, uh, being pushed really now by clarity, by, by kind of a sense of knowing what, what you need to do and, and being able this week to now take the action and make those steps to to releasing yourself from everything that's making you heavy. All right, Leo, so again, you can check out more videos on my YouTube, go to my website for private readings, uh, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Hey, Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th. Uh, now, if you like this video, you can check out my others on YouTube, as well as going to my website if you'd like to book a private reading or, any, or donate to um, donate to the videos <laughs> i keep them going right all right so virgo we have three cards here to take us through the week uh, so let's see what we have in store for you beginning of the week virgo we have the ten of wands in reverse so this is really good for uh acknowledging that you need to drop some burden burdens uh things that are weighing have been weighing down on you in the uh in the beginning of the week virgo you're going to start to feel some release from those things you're going to start to feel a little lighter i think this is also about you taking things lighter for yourself so you decide that you don't want to break your back anymore you decide to not take on more responsibility than is yours you decide to stop sweating certain things that just don't matter um, and so you're going to get a little relief in the beginning of the week from from things that have been feeling heavy from things that have been stressing you out Really encouraging for a sign that is such a worry war and is always wondering about you know things that could go wrong or whatever or taking on a lot of uh, Control I think Virgo. This is a necessary lightening of your load early in the week Middle of the week, Virgo, we have uh, the King of Swords. So the King of Swords can represent legal matters. The King of Swords can represent uh, you just being very ferocious about doing what you need to do for yourself. So we could have um, other people come into your life who have an influence on you that help you in a way, very like logistical, uh, reasonable minded people who who are, are a leader for you and help you get your help, help have your back. Um, but this could also be yourself, Virgo, like being tenacious, uh, making some really hard but really necessary decisions for yourself about what your future is going to be and what you need to do for yourself and how you need to take care of yourself. Uh, this is being very clear-minded. This is knowing exactly what your goals are. This is being willing to bend over backwards to make them happen. Uh, just be careful here, Virgo, that you don't veer into a territory of, of anger, of, of lashing out at people, of being a little mean. Uh, these are the things that can happen with the Knight of Swords. Um, but in, it's positive in a big way because now the shit that's been weighing on you and burdening you is, is gone and you're not, ha you're, not you're not having it anymore, Virgo. End of the week, Virgo, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So things start to turn in your favor at the end of the week. Uh, things come to you, uh, like good news could come your way. Um, uh, just possibilities about the future. Uh, uh, things that make you feel good, things that make you feel like the universe is on your side, that the work you've been doing has been paying off. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune has you ending out the week just feeling like things are finally moving in your favor. Things that might have been stuck, uh, you know, progress where that's been stuck. Now things are starting to shift. This is like that squeaky wheel that gets the grease and now it's starting to turn. So Virgo being a really optimistic way to end out the week. So, no, so overall, a great week, Virgo, for lightening your loads, for feeling better, for feeling successful and seeing things come into your life that are going to make you feel a lot happier. 
At the bottom of the deck here, Virgo, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this shows that you've been working towards establishing yourself, that you've been working towards security in your life, that you've been working towards uh, creating uh, a foundation for yourself in the world. And so what you see here now with this card is that uh, you recognize now what's actually in service of those goals and what's not, and you recognize what you need to do to get what you want, and then things, the, the like accumulation starts to come your way, the money starts to come your way, the, the, the feelings of stability start to come your way this week. All right, Virgo, really promising week. Again, uh, check out my YouTube, uh, other videos on YouTube, and uh, private readings are in my on my website. And Virgo, you have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your reading for April 29th to May 5th. Uh, if you like this video, check out others on my YouTube, as well as going to my website if you'd like to book a private reading um, or, any, or donate to keep these videos coming. All right, so Libra, we have three cards here to take you through the week. Let's see what we've got in store for you. Beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Wands. So Libra, this is a little bit of a feeling of being beaten up. This is a little bit of a feeling of, I feel exhaustion here. In the beginning of the week, I think you're just gonna be dealing with like futile situations, with, with things that you wish you didn't have to deal with, with you know people pushing your buttons in little ways that are trivial. And, and I feel like Libra, in the beginning of the week, you're just gonna feel sick of a lot of stuff. You're gonna feel sick about way things that, are, things that have been happening, uh, ways that you've been living, uh, the ways people have been treating you maybe in certain situations situations. Uh, the good thing with this card though, Libra, is that you have these eyes in the top of, this, of the wands, which indicate to me a sense of truth and a sense of reality and a sense of vision. So, so these things that are happening to you right now, Libra, in the beginning of the week that are kind of just like pushing your buttons are kind of making you realize exactly what needs to change, what needs to be different in your life, what you need to do to protect yourself. <coughs> to protect yourself. Because this ultimately talks about protecting your energy and, and kind of walling yourself off when necessary. Make sure you're not doing it to your, to your detriment, but that it could help uh, to be aware of what needs to not be in your circle anymore, not, not affecting your energy anymore. Quick Marco Rubio moment there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> middle of the week, Libra, we have temperance. So this is a really beautiful card. After this like sense of being knocked around and being beaten up a little bit, we have this card of softness, this card that brings us back to our center, this card that makes us feel healed, that makes us feel whole again. Uh, this is to me, Libra, making big long-term plans with this card. You're, you're, you're collecting your energy, you're pulling your energy back to yourself, you're looking at your horizons to see what's possible for yourself going forward. So in the middle of the week, Libra, I think that there's a sort of peace that comes a sort of calmness <clears throat> you're you're not where you want to be yet but you're also realizing that you're not connected to your past anymore and in the middle of the week with temperance you get to make plans you get to figure out what you want you get to recognize that you're you're a new balanced whole person who's feeling invigorated who's feeling ready to tackle things that's ready to get away from these things in life that are making you feel all beaten up and knocked around the end of the week, Libra, we have the Queen of Wands. So lots of fun, sexy energy for the weekend. Uh, the Queen of Wands is is self-possessed. She's she, she This to me says that you guys are going to have some fun this weekend. You guys are going to maybe go on some cute dates this weekend. Y'all are going to like maybe get your mani-pedi that you've been putting off for a little while this weekend. The Queen of Wands fills her own cup. She is her own flame. So, so recognizing by the end of this week, Libra, a lot of power that you have. A lot of power over, uh, uh, not necessarily over other people, but in, in a way where you can influence. You're a cardinal sign. You, you're a leader by nature. Uh, you have the power to influence your life, to be a leader to yourself. So the Queen of Wands says, basically, fuck these hoes. Uh, I'm about to do what I want to do. It's very like in my lane, doing my thing. I don't have any competition but myself kind of feeling. And so ending out the week here, Libra, feeling very strong, uh, feeling like all this stuff that's been nagging at you is no, ain't no thing anymore. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So there's been a long period of reflection about what you need to do with your life, about having to make choices. I think this is you, Libra, being in your head, overthinking a lot, uh, uh, trying to just figure things out for yourself. 
And now what's happening here is that now you're being pushed where you, you were figuring something out, maybe about the situation you're in that doesn't feel so great. And now you're having to make steps forward. And now you're having to actually make the choice that you've been thinking about doing for a long time. So this week, Libra, I see um, it, it might not even be like you're making those first steps, but you're making the choice to make those steps. Distancing yourself from the past, distancing from yourself, yourself from things that made you feel bad, really investing in self-care, and not and not just treat yourself so you spend too much money, but like taking care of yourself and knowing what you need and what doesn't serve you right now. All right, Libra. So uh, check out other videos on my YouTube. Go to my link uh, for my website to get private readings, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye bye. What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th. Uh, now, if you like this video, you can check out my others on YouTube as well as going to my website to book a private reading or donate to keep these videos coming. All right, so we have three cards here, Scorpio, to take us through the week. Let's see what we have in store for you. All right, <clears throat> Scorpio, starting off the week with the Five of Swords. So a lot of contentiousness here, a lot of overwhelming feelings. I think the beginning of this week is going to have you feeling really out of sorts with the people you work with, feeling really out of sorts with people in your life. I think there's just a sense here overall of disconnect, of disconnect from, from happiness, disconnect, like it, it almost feels like emotional, like inner conflict, right? So, so it's things that are in your world, even if no one's like fucking with you, that make you just feel like, what am I still doing here? What am I doing with this person? What am I doing with this job? Like that kind of thing where you have now to sort of face and reconcile things that have been weighing on you for a little while. Um, and, and, and things that make you feel a sort of sense of inner conflict with yourself. So expect the beginning of this week, Scorpio, to, to bring a little bit of that energy to you, that sense of um, uh, uh, difficulty, or the sense of having to kind of uh, person up and, and like handle things, right? But just be, understand that right now there's not much you can do in this situation. So the best advice might be to actually just sit through it quietly make your plans for the future and just kind of put your head down and go through the motions. Exactly here, middle of the week, uh, Scorpio, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So yes, going through the motions, taking care of your, your material world, taking care of your business, handling yourself, um, being really practical, making plans for the future about uh, what, where you want to go, what you want to do. Uh, this, this Knight of Pentacles energy uh, comes to you to, to, to keep you persistent, right? To keep you on track, to make you recognize the bigger picture. So this implies for a lot of people, like a lot of what's going on with you guys this week, Scorpio, is not part of your bigger picture. And I think that's meant to be uh, something that is encouraging and, and also motivating, right? To, to, to keep your eye on the prize, keep your eye on your future. Uh, uh, make sure that everything you're doing is still aligned with what your ultimate bigger goals are and not getting sidetracked by little things here or there that um, are taking your energy and not really worth it because they're not really feeding you in the way that you need to be fed right now. End of the week, Scorpio, we have the Queen of Swords. So I think that for some of you, this is gonna be a sort of uh, air sign energy. This The Queen of Swords is uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius who who kind of helps you see the truth, right? Um, who helps you, helps move you into a new place in your life. For a lot of you Scorpios, what this is actually is just you embodying this energy and knowing now the honest truth of your situation, knowing what needs to be released, knowing what you need to cut yourself free from. The Queen of Swords, has, ha, ha, she's in touch with the laws of like herself, of her humanity, of, of what, she, what she knows is right for herself. So the Queen of Swords says, says to, to get that sword, to cut some bitches, to let go of stuff that's bringing you down and making you less than, and stand in your truth in a really powerful way. The end of this week, Scorpio, is gonna have you asking, uh, it's going to be asking you to stand in your truth, to know what's honest for you, to know what uh, is right for you. And this week brings a lot of revelations, I think, about uh, what path you're on and, and awareness of course correcting that needs to be done and where it needs to be done. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Five of Pentacles. So uh, coming out of a period of a lot of pain, of frustration, of of, of feeling without, of feeling a lack of. This part, this is though, Scorpio, part of your past. So what we're coming into, I think why you have this persistence, why you have this honesty, is because you now have perspective on what's important. You now have perspective on the big picture and, and, and what 
you need to do to bring happiness into your life. Like this, this feeling of loneliness, this feeling of sadness, this feeling of not having enough money, that's a thing of the past. And now what we're doing this week, Scorpio, is getting, making tough decisions and doing the right things. And if it's not tough decisions, it's at the very least coming to terms with uh, the big moves we have to make right now to get ourselves in a position uh, to, to accomplish the things that we want. All right, guys, again, check out my YouTube. Uh, go ahead and book readings through, the, through my website or donate to the channel. Uh, otherwise, guys, you have a great week, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care. What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th. Uh, now, if you like this video, check out others on my YouTube, as well as going to my website if you'd like to book a private reading or donate to help keep these readings coming to you. All right, guys, so we have three cards here to take us through the week. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on here. Beginning of the week, uh, Sagittarius, we have the Magician. So this says you guys are feeling in your power. You're feeling creative. You're feeling like your kind of destiny is in your hands and you're under control. This makes me feel like there might have been things that are going on for you that, that maybe uh, now you're getting a hold on, right? You're feeling like you're able to be the master of your own destiny. You're able to make choices for your best interest. The magician says, tap into your greater consciousness, tap into your highest self uh, to, to channel into reality, into manifestation, what you want and what you need for yourself right now. So the beginning of this week, Sagittarius, I think you're going to be clear about a couple of things that you need to take control of in your life. You're going to be uh, made clear. Um, you're going to have some situations that make it clear on what you need to create for yourself. What life path do you need to take? What choices do you need to make to 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 pursue? Um, you know what you're meant to do in this world. Middle of the week. Sagittarius, we have the devil. So as we're creating, as we're manifesting, I think some things come up for you in the middle of the week. Uh, I think there's some uh, difficult relationships in particular with a lot of you. I think that there's some things that happen in the middle of the week, Sagittarius, that might make you feel a little discouraged, that might make you feel a little unsupported, that might make you feel like some people are coming for you, or at the very least, not there to support you and not there for you in the way that you need. Uh, so Sagittarius, be very careful of these bad feelings that come up for you in the middle of the week. Uh, be careful not to uh, seek escapism. Use this as an opportunity to become clear about what works for you now and what doesn't because that's what we need to be aware of here. When you have this magician energy with the devil as well, we need to be very careful that what we're bringing into manifestation is actually for our greater good and it's actually not uh, an attempt to escape something. It's not an attempt to uh, you know, hurt ourselves or sabotage ourselves or hurt somebody else, but that it's actually in line with your purest intention. So shit that comes up for you in the middle of the week, Sagittarius, just try to look past it and focus on the big picture of what you're trying to accomplish in your life and, and, and be willing to let go of things that, that are holding you down or hurting you. End of the week, Sagittarius is beautiful. We end up with the Four of Wands. So feeling very comfortable, feeling very situated, feeling very um, at peace with yourself. So it might be that some of these decisions, these things that come up for you in the middle of the week actually leads you to a place where now you're more sure of where your home is, right? Now you're more sure of who's there for you, who's there to support you, uh, where love is, where comfort is, where security is, right? So, excuse me, <laughs> allergy attack. Um, so uh, Sagittarius, at the end of the week, uh, expect a lot of fun, expect f festivities, expect to feel comfortable, to expect to feel safe, to expect to feel loved and surrounded by unconditional love and people who really care for you and who want your, your best your best because you know when when people around the world or the world fucks with us, it's really important for us to have this sense of grounding, the sense of safety in the world. The bottom of the deck we have justice so what's been going on for you guys has been a sort of recalibrating act right you've needed to find the balance you needed to find the center you need to let go of what hurts you with with justice it's it's about standing in your truth it's about honesty and, and so what's happening right now for you sagittarius is you're getting really honest about with yourself about what you need really honest with yourself about uh, wh what you want out of life right and now i think this week comes with you asserting it and you start to assert that and you start to say, this is what I expect, this is what I demand, this is what I want. And Sagittarius, I think in your way of getting the things that you want, by the end of the week, you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable and you're gonna feel a lot uh, like, like, uh, like you have what you need to feel good about yourself and feel good about the direction of your life. All right, Sagittarius, uh, other videos on YouTube, check those out. We'll go to my website for private readings and I will talk to you guys next week. What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th. 
Uh, if you like this video, check out my others on YouTube, as well as going to my website for private readings and uh, to donate to keep these videos coming. All right, guys, so we have three cards here taking us through the week. Let's see what we have in store for you. Beginning of the week, Capricorn, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Feeling really good in your home, feeling really good in your job. I think you guys are feeling secure, you're feeling comfortable right now. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, you might have some events with family or some something like that. Um, some nice comfy times at home, like feeling really good about what you've accomplished. Uh, this could be, I don't know, getting a paycheck or or something that, that makes you feel secure, seeing your bank account rise, uh, the things that happen on Monday that make you feel like you've been doing a good job, right? So if really good feelings in the beginning of the week, Capricorn, that make you feel comfortable, that make you feel on track, make you feel like you're doing the right thing and doing good work for yourself. Middle of the week, Capricorn, we have the Hierophant. So uh, opportunities here for, for growth, opportunities here for progress, for moving up the ladder. So if this is re with regards to your work, um, this is possibility of promotions or having your eye on promotions, or having your eye on where you want to go from here. Um, the, the Hierophant ushers us into not just a new time of our lives, but a greater time in our lives where we're more connected to our work, where we're more connected to uh, society and our communities. So uh, also having a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So I think that middle of the week, Capricorn, you're gonna feel all your experience come into play in some way. I think that you're going to have, uh, especially with regards to work, opportunities to maybe show off your skills, to show off your knowledge, to show off your, your progress. Uh, but with the Hierophant here, also definitely a very good sign. We have lots of earth energy this week. So I think a lot of stability and growth with regards to your finances and with regards to your money, uh, to, your, to your career, right? End of the week, Capricorn, we have the Five of Wands. So some conflict at the end of the week, right? Uh, this is this is kind of petty disagreements. This is like lovers quarrels. This is like, you know, a friend is pissing you off and you guys aren't talking to each other now. Uh, so so with all this growth, Capricorn, it is unfortunate that like it comes with this thing at the end where now you're feeling this sort of like icky feeling that you don't want to feel, this 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 combativeness. It's like, why are people messing with me? Why are people trying to hold me down in some way? Why why are they bothering me with petty shit? So Capricorn, uh, this this reading so far this week is about keeping your eye on the prize and being very driven about what you want to create and where you want to be and 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 the little things here and there that are nagging at you that are bothering at you, bothering you uh, are petty and to be forgotten. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of cups. So I think that what's been happening, Capricorn, is that we've been having a time of joy. We've been having a time of happiness. We've been having a time of, of, of contentment, of fun, of socializing. And so now I think this week now with these, with these cards is asking us to get back in our workflow, to really focus on um, not being complacent about how much money we make, not being complacent about when that promotion is going to come, uh, not being complacent about making that job switch if we have to do it. This stuff is asking us to pay attention to our material world in a way that uh, is about growth and is about uh, moving higher up the ladder. The fun time is over. If you have been having fun, Capricorn, it's time to like let the nice, washy, good, wash, wishy-washy feel go and fight for for your future here your financial and career future all right again check out my youtube for other videos uh, my website for personal readings and i'll talk to you guys next week bye, bye hey aquarius welcome to your weekly reading for april 29th to may 5th uh, now you can go ahead and check out my website if you'd like to book a private read reading or donate to keep these videos coming to you um, as well as uh, my youtube for other videos all right so aquarius we have uh, three cards taking us through the week. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we've got in store for you. All right, beginning of the week, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the beginning of the week, seeing some shifts happening for you. I think it's particularly, uh, you might have experiences in the beginning of the week where good news comes your way about something you've been wanting for a while, about something that means an improvement in your circumstances, an improvement in your career or, or your finances. Uh, but the start of the week, Aquarius, uh, bringing really good news, being, bringing really good fortune your way uh, that's going to uplift your spirits and uh, gonna make you feel really powerful and make you feel like uh, things are moving towards the better. If things have been feeling a little stuck lately or like, like you're not sure what's gonna happen, now you get confirmation in the beginning of the week that things are actually happening in the way that you want in a way that brings like happiness and satisfaction and abundance. 
middle of the week, Aquarius. I love this. So, so judgment. So uh, we're moving towards a new thing. So here, the b news that comes in the beginning of the week could be something that brings about a new phase of your life. So whether that's a new career opportunity that's presented to you, whether there's like an option to move somewhere or something like that, uh, with, the, with the judgment in the middle of the week, we're, we're, we're rising to the call of something greater. We're, we're, we're feeling uh, impelled uh, helplessly towards the future, towards what's new, towards what's vulnerable. We're rising out of, like we're, we're, like we're vulnerable and fresh to the world. So, so middle of the week, uh, Aquarius, really coming into whatever this change is that's coming for you. And feeling the joy of it, feeling the, the passion of it, the pleasure you might want to celebrate in the middle of the week uh, about where things are going and, and that things are actually working in your favor now. The end of the week, so we have the five of cups. So, you know, um, it's a little bit of sorrow, a little bit of sadness. Now, part of this could be because of where you've been before or the change that's coming. So it's not necessarily super negative when you have all these other cards in here that are showing a really positive change in growth this could just be you know like when you um leave a job and and you're a little sad even though it's like things are going for you goes going so much better for you you're going to be making more money you have a better permission pro permission you have a better title um you're getting a promotion uh, there's still maybe like a little sadness about leaving co-workers you made friends with or something that had sentimental value to you at the end of the week aquarius feeling a a, a loss of something that has sentimental attachment to you uh but you have to recognize that in the big picture uh this is meant to be you have all these spilled cups here but you have two here that are opportunities for you in the future so it's okay to feel the feels you know get get a little bit uh in your feelings about like grieve for the things that you're leaving behind but uh know that what the reason they're leave, you're leaving them behind is for things that are going to be so much better and so much more uh like next level at the bottom of the deck uh aquarius we have the fool so so really i think you've been working behind the scenes for some shakeups. i think that you know, you've been uh working towards thing you've been trying to create something new for yourself and so that's what i think what comes into being this week uh where you get news of something like that that's going to uh be a result of the work that you've been doing to start fresh to start new to go to the next level to to be more aligned with the things that you actually want to create for yourself in the world um all that work has been done it's been getting done and now you're getting to a point where now you're going to start to experience uh maybe not the start of it but the the incoming of it the the, the indication that it's coming for you right all right Aquarius so again check out my other videos on YouTube as well as checking out my uh website to book a private reading uh I'll talk to you guys next week have a great one hey Pisces welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th if you like this video, you can check out others on my YouTube as well as going to my website if you'd like to book a private reading or donate to keep these videos coming. All right, so Pisces, we have three cards here to take us through the week. Let's see what we've got in store for you. Beginning of the week, Pisces, we have the High Priestess. So this is a, a, a something, a part of you that's really internal right now. I think you're really thinking, I think you're going deep and you're trying to figure out what you want and what you need for yourself. This might be a period where, uh, you know, you've just kind of been going with the flow and, and things have been working out, but now there's like a, a reason in the beginning of the week for you to have to get serious about what you want and to think clearly and, and to get in touch with your, use your intuition right now to really um, like uh, honor your intuition, acknowledge what you're feeling, uh, take it seriously. Uh, because it's coming from some place that's real. It's coming from some place of you that's sort of demanding some sort of change for you. So in the beginning of the week, you're going to have these experiences where you're going to feel like you need to make a change. You need to uh, move from something. You need to let go of something. And it's going to come for in, in your emotional world. And just trust that and follow it middle of the week uh, Pisces we have the four of wands so this is feeling really comfortable in your home this is feeling really secure this is feeling like uh, you can kind of acknowledge uh, in the middle of the week feeling like you can acknowledge the the what you've accomplished uh, you're gonna feel the benefits of what you've accomplished you're gonna feel comfortable you're gonna feel safe you're gonna feel like you're in a good place right so a lot of this stuff that comes up for you in the beginning of the week in the middle of the week it's sort of like a balancing act right where you went deep about maybe the stuff that's troubling you but then in the middle of the week you have this validating experience of what's actually been going well and what you've accomplished and what you're able to do the resources you have to move forward for yourself and to create the things that your subconscious is telling you you need for yourself right now um, lots of comfort in the home life, lots of comfort with friends, with family, with feeling really supported, with feeling really loved, with feeling really caring and giving. 
End of the week Pisces with the Nine of Wands, feeling a little beaten up, feeling a little trapped, uh, feeling like you're in a circumstance or situation that uh, uh, is kind of keeping you boxed in, is keeping you separated from the things that you want to do. Um, the end of the week being a little tough, maybe feeling a little knocked around by a situation, right? Um, so keep in mind that you have this grounding, you have this uh, this thing that is making you feel safe and secure and comfortable um, because when things start to go a different way where you start to feel maybe a little overwhelmed a little a little uh, You know without options uh, You know that you're actually on a good path and if anything all this is doing is validating in the real world What your internal world has been telling you you need to do all along the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the moon, your card. So for a while, guys, it's been feeling a little dark and feeling a little heavy with, with regards to whatever needs to change right now. You've been feeling a little weighed down. You've been feeling a little like not yourself, a little out of sorts, like maybe in a dark place or going very within a lot. Uh, maybe paying a lot of attention to your subconscious, to your dreams lately with the moon. Um, so, so trust and then now I like this because we have the moon that's very internal and the high priestess is still internal But she brings that into the real world in a way that's practical in a way that's productive in a way that actually moves forward and creates uh, Newness now the knight of wands can also represent persistence, right? Not giving up uh, uh, Keeping your head high, right? Uh, not just feeling like you're hopeless But feel or, or, or beating up or beating around but feeling like you have the strength and the wherewithal to to defend yourself and stand up for yourself and you've been through harder things Pisces and you can handle whatever comes your way now all right all right check out my other videos on YouTube uh, go to my website for private readings and I will talk to you guys next week have a great week Pisces